is this the same jacket or an equal jacket uh, which Hemming were wearing? <laughs> yeah. No, it's just something that looks like it and I got it for fun. But I'm not wearing it. I've got this one on instead though. And Michelle, I saw you already uploaded my transcript to YouTube because I was watching the video and said, oh, those brackets with the squiggly diggly words in there, uh, I've seen them before. <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I uploaded them on the YouTube um, because the next round I found an easier way to kind of go through them and watch them the second time and make the corrections. So I went ahead and put the raw video on YouTube already for us. So. I found it much easier to do the transcripts if you slow down the video to like 0 0.5, 0 0.75. You can still understand what his words are, but it gives you a little bit more time to type as he's talking. Hey, everybody. Hey, Don. Hey, Don. I thought of a new corporate motto for Zoom. Could be. Never the same twice. <laughs> so thanks for your patience as I connected today. I have another motto. We'll come out with new updates every two days, but they all have bugs. Yeah, but that you can't distinguish them from others. That motto. There's a lot of that going on, Marty. Marty, we call this banana software. It matures with the customer. All right. Well, it looks like the gang's pretty much all here, right? Looks like it, yeah. Who's, who's on the scene missing? All right. Well, uh, Mike, thanks. Here. Yeah, how about we do a uh, one last uh, graduation photo? <laughs> okay. First completion photo. I don't know if they're going to put any of these in Python, but good to be ready. Okay, okay. Now brace yourself, but it is time to smile. You can count to three if you want, you know, whatever it takes. Wow, nine out of nine smiles. Wait till you see this. Okay, caught it. Saving it so we don't lose it. Don, you call this a graduation photo. Does that mean I'm going to get a grade that brings up my GPA after all these oh, years? Oh, boy, you better believe it. You better believe it. But whether it's up or down, that's a whole other thing. You know, you make no judgment of the sample space. I'll share this with everyone. I graduated in 1982. Do you know how many, and I continued working until 2016, do you know how many people ever looked at my NPS transcript? Zero. That would be zero. Thanks. Zero. Well, that's, uh, that's part of the advice to PhD students is the question they will never hear is, what was your grade point average? what the question they will hear and which you will often hear as part of your masters too is what did you do what did you work on what was your what was your dissertation or your thesis about that's what people want to know they want to know what you think where you can go what are you up to what are your goals so that's a very good lesson learned you're passing on there martin anyone who asks wants a, either a 30 second or a two minute summary of your 300 page dissertation and they want to be able it to be clear enough for them to understand it otherwise they yawn and walk away yes okay so uh, let's get going gang it's our last session and a doozy lots of good stuff today let me Hard to beat your smiling faces, but I'm going to share a screen here and we'll look at what our plan is for today. Let me add to this a couple of things. 
Versus thank you. Boy, what a great course, despite the most topsy-turvy of circumstances to get us in, going in it. And the assets are really piling up. I hope uh, you're, you're all feeling as uh, rewarded as I am when I look at what this group has accomplished over the last nine weeks. Okay, next. Before we keep going, here are some of the production lessons learned from all the video that may help us today. First, if you're not speaking, please try to stay muted. And the reason why is a couple fold. One is I have been carefully scrubbing from the audio tracks, magical sounds from windows and clicking mouses and all sorts of things. So you don't want to have that when you, when you can avoid it. Second reason is, could somebody please say something? Do you want me to say something? Yep. Thank you, Toby. You may have noticed that when Toby spoke, the window shifted to him. So it is appropriate to have your mic on if you're in a two-way conversation with somebody as stuff's going on, but be prepared to, to not make extra noise or the video will start flipping at random intervals. Everybody good on that idea? Keeping your mic muted, sure. Third is, if you're presenting, a good technique when you want to talk to everybody is to stop screen sharing, like I just did. Because now when the recording comes out, the focus will be on the people and not the slides, which you just finished talking about and are no longer quite as interesting. These are mostly just the idiosyncrasies of us using the Zoom recording software, getting used to that tool. Every tool has its own personalities and its little quirks. It has been really interesting over the history of this course, how the different tools have varied and how we've used them. In some ways, it's, it's quite a strong echo of computer-aided instruction talk where Michelle, I think it was him, and please confirm or deny saying that one of the best techniques for teaching computer-aided instruction is just keep changing what you're doing. Was that a Hamming-originated idea, you think, or just the knowledge of the time? I don't know if it was a Hamming-originated idea, but it was definitely something that he had learned. Um, through the research he had done and, and definitely um, kind of talked a little bit about that, that, you know, if you do have to use computers, then to, to use different formats is the way to go. And it wasn't computer specific. Structure. It was the Hawthorne effect. And the Hawthorne effect was as long as you changed the education modality, stuff got better. It wasn't computer specific. It was whatever. You're right, Lauren. Thank you. Thank you for clarifying that. And as he spoke, I, I tested the open mic thresholding, and sure enough, drinking uh, a sip of coffee was enough to trigger the microphone camera swapper. Yeah, so, I think, I so think... here we go. You know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's always a little different. Oh, that's good. You, you want to take these lessons aboard in that spirit that it always changes. Something we learned about the very first time around when we were doing internet video and M-Bone streaming was that with lower frame rate, it's hard to get all the nuances of what you say. But if you slow down, it comes across a little better. That works faster now, tools are faster now. Okay, that's good. But the real lesson learned we got from slowing down was, and that's just like when you're speaking to a group. If you want to be extra clear, you slow down. You say, here is what I really want to say. And it's not at odds with how you present. So there's lots of lessons learned like that. The last one I'll reveal my personal goal for this session is to quit saying, ah, oh. 
so much. And that's a tricky business too. We've known that lesson for decades and still not so good at it. Because you acting as if you're conversational, but you're really presenting. And this is why the TV news anchors get paid the big bucks. If you want to learn more about how to get past habits like that, then Toastmasters is the group you want to join. Learn how to give presentations to people. Okay, there's the production warm-up.